Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the important topics in pharmacology. First, let's discuss about the reference books. In case of guide, I would recommend Gobindarai. In this one, to read A to Z, you have to read the boxes in every page. In either the in one corner, there would be boxes mentioning the important points. So you have to read that box and anything written in bold and the charts classification or pathways you have to study then first aid usually is a good book especially in case of antimicrobials and antimicrobials is mainly asked mechanism of action and major side effects it's very well explained in first aid and if you uh, i recommend kaplan videos if you are preparing for may and all you can go through kaplan videos for basic concepts now coming to general pharmacology the important topics are enzyme kinetics some calculations are there and some topics like clinical trial drug schedule let's approach one by one enzyme kinetics in enzyme kinetics there are a lot of charts competitive inhibition non competitive inhibition effect of inducers inhibitors so you have to be thorough with examples then uh, there is p 450 cytochrome p450 system and you have to know the inducers and inhibitors of this enzyme then a uh, lot of calculations do appear for aims paper uh, mainly they come from clearance half life volume of distribution or uh, how much drips we have to rate that's a drips rate you have to know so be thorough with the formulas in this topic then uh, there is two tables one is about the clinical trials and other is about the drug schedule and another one is about the pregnancy category of drugs so you have to know about it so this is the one i was talking about in enzyme kinetics competitive non competitive and competitive with examples you have to know and this is the formula section i was discussing this is one of the formulas in that section so this is about the clearance so most of them they give like this and this value and you will be supposed to calculate this one or it can be vice versa to calculate the t half and all so you have to be thorough with the formula now coming to autonomic nervous system here mainly you have to know the receptors the types of receptors alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 beta 2 and the locations and by just knowing that thing itself you can answer most of the questions so receptors and the sites and the drug classification lots of tables will be there you have to be thorough with that then uh, as i said in the guide book it's better to go in the boxes and yeah you can go through the previous year papers to have an idea about what are the questions coming in this section now there are charts in the parasympathetic and sympathetic neural system example in the uh, in the neuromuscular junction and all the how choline is synthesized how it's excreted how it's metabolized so these things and there are various inhibitors involved at various steps so you have to be thorough with that section then the another important topic is adrenaline when snore adrenaline vasomotor reversal of dail these are the important topics you have to stress then doses they don't usually ask but adrenaline dosage they ask it very frequently so you have to know the dose of adrenaline with we have uh, we have to know the dose of adrenaline uh, in at various sites intratracheal or whether it's given subcutaneous iv what is the dose you have to know the dilution 
glaucoma section it can be covered in ophtha or you can cover the drugs here i think ophtha will be better there you can study the side effects the images everything this is what i was talking about the pathways so see here the inhibitors involved so you have to know the inhibitors and the site of action coming to the antimicrobial section i will recommend first aid for this section in that in 3 4 pages maximum they have beautifully written these topics the antimicrobial antiviral antifungal antiprotozoans you have to know the classification of the drug mechanism action a lot of question do come from this topic mechanism action and major side effects and another thing you have to stress is anti pseudomonal drugs you have to be thorough with this one you have to memorize the anti pseudomonal drugs now coming to the cardiac and nephro drugs anti arrhythmic is an important section its classification and the graphs how class 1 class 2 class 3 act and the changes that they bring to the heart rate then you can cross check with the ecg emergency medicine topics along with the anti arrhythmic classification so that if a question come from like ECG is provided and they ask that uh, treatment the drug of choice and all you can easily answer so a medical cover up is required for this topic the other drugs that are usually asked are heart failure drugs anti hypertensive anti hypertensive the first line is sufficient dyslipidemia drugs you have to no in detail like uh, at which type of dyslipidemia you give the drug the first line for various dyslipidemias you have to know and the major side effect these two topics you have to know then the last topic is the diuretics diuretics uh, where they are acting yeah mechanism action is very important for this one yeah, whether it acts at pct dct collecting that how they are acting you have to know the mechanism this is what i was talking about the class 1 the changes they bring, uh, bring to the action potentials you have to know in detail because an image based question can also come from this topic uh, asking like uh, when a drug a was administered this change was noted and what will be the likely drug so be thorough with the graphs now coming to the central nervous system in this one uh, anesthetic drugs will be covered in anesthesia the side effects the profiles everything will be covered in that so you don't have to read it in pharmacology in pharmacology what is important is anti epileptics the first line in case of partial seizure complete seizure absent seizure you have to know the first line drugs then like uh, autonomic nervous system there is a gaba cycle here also and various inhibitors and various drugs acting on this cycle you have to know then coming to anti parkinsonism drugs there also mechanism action chart the sites where they act on you have to know side effects are also important but mechanism action is the most important point in anti parkinsonian drugs then there are some other drugs which you have to know in depth that is lithium tca ssri and opioids in opioids they ask the agonist antagonist and the difference between naloxone and naltrexone you have to know so this is very important okay you most of the people uh, leave it out but opioids agonist antagonist you have to know the examples and ssri tca you have to know the difference and lithium including dose you have to know so this is what i was talking about this is the gaba cycle the various drugs acting at various points and image based question can come from this topic coming to endocrine 
uh, here mainly you have to deal with the diabetic drugs so you have to know various hyperglycemic anti hyperglycemic drugs the classification and the major side effects is sufficient you don't have to go in detail and insulin analog is another hot topic they are t halves you have to know in detail in corticosteroid classes uh, there are steroids which have just mineral corticoid action there are steroids which have both mineral corticoid and sex corticoid actions so you have to be thorough with those topics now coming to antithyroid drugs there is nothing much in that topic just read about methimazole propyl thioracyl that's it you don't have that is not a hot topic actually this diabetic anti diabetic drugs that is the major topic in endocrine then coming to osteoporosis treatment just read about it that's it you have, should have a superficial idea then in reproductive section there are a lot of novel drugs and they are frequently asked in aims so you have to be thorough with the new drugs in the reproductive section now coming to the miscellaneous topics first one is the antihistamine the major classification you have to know and the various indications you have to know then migraine is an important topic you have to know the drugs used in the treatment of migraine it is also covered in neurology section in medicine then cox pathway drug this is also a hot topic so the mechanism of action the nsaids we have to be thorough with this topic uh, i think a pathway an image is also there uh, coming in the next slide i guess so you have to be thorough with that image also then these two topics are there but just read that's it just have an idea about it nothing much to do with it yeah this was what i was talking about these are steroids zilutin montelukast zafirlukast acting at various points you have to know this pathway then the next set of miscellaneous topics are the neoplastic drugs there are a lot of drugs in that so you don't have to read each and every neoplastic drug just in general medicine you would have studied some drugs as a part of the treatment so just the known drugs just read about those drugs only the side effects and mechanism of action major side effects and mechanism of action these two topics of known neoplastic drugs don't go in detail there is list of hundreds of neoplastic drugs and you can never memorize it so don't go behind it and coming to immunomodulators also uh, it's better like you go to the previous year questions or in classes whatever the immunomodulators they mention just study that only because there is hundreds of immunomodulators and you can never ever study it so for these two drugs i will recommend like you make a list of your own neoplastic drugs immunomodulators and important new drugs important new drugs also even in new even in gobinda rai when you check in the last chapter or something they have given like 100 new drugs you can never ever study that even if you allot the whole day you can never study it and memorize it you will just get confused so i would recommend for these three only read about the known drugs either from the previous year papers or from class notes wherever they mention you will be also attending grant test and all so if a, if a new drug is mentioned in the grant test okay from these three checklist if you find a new drug or an immunomodulator or a new plastic drug just make a list of it add to that list keep on adding and you will at the end you will have the major drugs in this category and with mechanism of action and major side effects so just read that list at the end before you go for the exam this was the immunomodulator pathway which i was talking about in pharmacology there are a lot of pathways like this as i said in antimicrobials there is pathway in 
GABA pathway is there in CNS and in COX pathway also there is and here also immunomodulators so be thorough with each and every pathways the question comes from this only so this was the list which I was talking about Nehemiah when I was preparing I used to make this list and it will look somewhat like this just the drug how it acts and where it's used just write this one make a list like this for neoplastic for immunomodulators and for new drugs and it's important you make the section wise better for revision purpose hemat cns you make section wise it will be better and the another topic is images images the pathways they can ask calculation they can ask the another topic they ask is the from the side effects phenytoin if how does the image look like or from warfarin control dysplasia how does it look like they can ask question from the major side effects so whenever you are reading major side effects of any drugs just go through the images if you are if the book doesn't provide it just google it and download it and make a folder so if you do all these things you can score pharmacology almost like 70 80 percent no one can score 100 percent obviously your target should be 70 to 80 percentage Thank you.